Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time stopping by, I am Lady Pavo, also known as Luna Lamonte. And today we're going to be doing your general reading. This is going to be for any of your sign placements, okay? It doesn't matter if it's your sun, moon, rising, Venus, seventh house, Mars, Saturn, Neptune, whatever placement you're looking for. And if it doesn't resonate, check another sign. So we're going to be covering a few things in this reading. So we're going to be covering what you're dealing with energetically. We're going to pull out your advice and your challenge cards. Then we're going to get into the romance angels and look at what's going on with your love life. Get some love messages as well. Then we're going to get into the nectar of the reading with the tarot. See what spirit got to say to you for your sign as a collective, all right? And then we're gonna get into your homework assignment, okay? Because with every personal reading I do, I always give a homework assignment. So this is going to be your self-care message for you to treat yourself with some extra tender love and care. It's also going to give you some insight on what you need to do to help boost your vibration and get you into alignment with your life purpose, okay? And then we're going to pull some charms, okay? So we're going to pull some letters, initials, or some words, if I can see some words that can be helpful for you along your journey. And then we're going to also pull some zodiac charms, okay? So this can signify placements in your natal chart that can be helpful for you or placements in the person or people that cross paths with you, okay? If it's not those placements that are significant, you can also just check out the season. For example, if I say Capricorn or if I say Sagittarius, we could just be um, talking about the winter time or during the time that those signs are um, are shown through the seasons, right? Okay, so if this is something that you're interested in, stay tuned. So before we dive into your reading, I want to share with you guys an intuitive download that I got. Okay, this is while I was dreaming. Okay, so I want to just emphasize this to you. All right, so strong emphasis on that solar plexus energy, fire element. Okay, so I'm hearing like burn a candle, burn a yellow candle. I have a yellow pillar candle right here that I'm burning. So working on your willpower, working on your confidence, working on how to assert yourself at the right time and how to not assert yourself and be more submissive at the right time is going to be so essential for you. Um, going towards things courageously, fail faster. Fail faster is what I want to tell you guys, okay? I'm hearing um, fail so that you could come back harder. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the globe is real. All right. Um, strong emphasis on working on your charisma, um, being more charismatic and charming is going to help you. I'm also hearing like talking to yourself in the mirror, looking at yourself and really getting um, acquainted with how you talk, not changing how you talk for people, being like in your authenticity is going to be key, is going to be a key component on helping you with your ascension. So I hope that these messages were helpful. With no further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> Hello, my lovely Libras. This is your general reading. So we're going to dive right into the general energy. Okay, see what spirit has to say to you. All right, so I'm going to just start shuffling. All right, hope you guys are doing well out there. Yes. I'm hearing um, letting go of anxiety, calming the heart, like work's going to be okay, everything's going to be okay, your finances is going to be okay. I'm hearing minor setbacks, but it's going to be a major comeback, all right? I don't know why, but you guys needed to know that. This card already came out before, but I like reshuffled it, as you saw, and it's patient. So it's time for you to be patient, especially when it comes to forward movement with your finances and stability so like i said to you like any step back is going to be a major comeback it's going to be like a lot of abundance rushing in but it's going to require a lot of patience at this time because what you're trying to solidify is something that is not microwavable it's something that takes a lot of time and craft that's going to help 
nourish your life okay but this is going to lead to you um entering the door of personal healing and happiness so i see a lot of expansion a lot of growth i see you like opening up doors that you didn't expect that's going to bring in a lot of peace a lot of wisdom it's also going to have you in a place where you are blossoming from a dark place so maybe you had like went through a really major low like maybe you were doing very well but then like I said, something with finances because we got that root chakra energy here. Um, root chakra is all about stability, your first instinct, um, your finances. So I see like in regards to your finances, if that's something that you're worried about, because I'm getting really hot, but specifically in like my arm region here. So if you're like um, getting overwhelmed because you're feeling like your finances might be hindered, I'm telling you right now at the bottom of the deck, you have a blossoming abundance. So it's like... It's, it's, it's looking like the up and up for you guys. I definitely feel like the month of March is going to be very significant to you. March and August because we have 35 here, number 8. We also have action, number 8. And um, wow, two, we have two 7s, we have two 8s, and then we have the number 3. So um, eight 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 can be significant to you angel number 888 so you can check out the angel number playlist on my channel um but i'm feeling like if it's not the month of october um definitely going to be a huge shift in the lion's gate portal during august so from march to august it's going to be like a lot of expansion and growth if you're not feeling it now just know like this time that i'm recording this video is october so this is like time for you to hibernate and really like craft what you're trying to um give life to and it's going to really be beneficial so stay the course what's your advice card your advice is to trust your intuition um, align your chakras. I'm hearing like stay in alignment with your um, projects, stay in alignment with your healing. Okay, what's your challenge? Your challenge is that you're releasing people that are envious about you or this is energy that you may harness. So releasing like any self-doubting thoughts, um, any jealousy, any comparison, like if you're comparing yourself to others, like it's time to release that energy or people that you feel don't mean you well. It's time for you to release that person or that um i'm hearing thought processes bad habits it's time for you to release that so that you can have this um energy ushering into you but i definitely feel like there's an imbalance when it comes to going to your ancestors your ascended masters i'm also hearing that you're having a hard time going to people within your family for advice so it's really time for you to get out of this deceptive energy and stay the course and stay onto your path because spirit is really like working with you but spirit is also telling you to like get out of your head um you could be your own worst enemy so like work with you work with yourself i'm hearing somebody's asking you to work with them um, and if you do, you're going to have like a good blossoming start rather it's with yourself or with others. I definitely see that if you trust the process and you're patient, patience is key and patience is what's going to really pay off. Okay. So let's get into your, um, romance angels cards. See what spirit has to say to you. All right. This is like written into your love life. Okay. That was just general energy. That was to me very financial. All right. Wow. So like I said to you, um, somebody here has like a lack of trust. So trust came out in reverse. So this situation is calling you to have faith. So again, like there's some type of energy here where you're like on the defense or you have your defenses up and you're not feeling like you can trust people romantically or, um, you know, you don't feel like you can get advice or confide in people, but it's really time for you to realize that it's safe for you to love. And it's, it's, um, you're, I'm feeling like you're not realizing how protected you are. Like spirit is really trying to tell you, like you are divinely protected. So, um, the people that you have around you, like I said, getting rid of any negative energy, like any envious or jealous individuals, is what's going to be key. Um, people tell on themselves, so just really pay attention to the signs, but it is safe for you to love. If you do have a partner here, that means you well, and you honestly feel like their track record has been clean and they have been doing nothing but supporting you um, with the open heart, it's safe for you to love, and it's time for you to see if this person has earned your trust, right? 
Okay, so it's saying open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So definitely be receptive to love and be open to love, right? Then we have express your love. So we have go ahead and make a romantic gesture. So again, like being open to communicating how you feel. Okay, um, we also had deception here. So someone is wearing a false mask in a relationship. So deception was also clarified in this other deck here. And I'm really feeling like that's your thoughts. Okay, so like maybe because you're on the edge or maybe because you're on edge or because you've been deceived in the past, you're bringing old issues into new situations. If that's what you're doing, I'm going to recommend you to stop doing that. Um, but if this person has ever given you a reason to feel like they're being deceptive, then by all means, like you have free will. So do what you honestly feel is best for you. Everybody's story is different. And this is not meant for everybody. This is meant for who this is, whose story this is, right? So um, this deception could be you. So I'm seeing like, just be authentic, be real, express how you feel. And, um, you know, rejection is just redirection. That's what I'm hearing. But I do see that like in the future, you're going to be elevating your romantic life because I do see engagement here. So your love life is ascending to higher forms of commitment. But again, I feel like that's only going to happen when you're willing to um, give and receive and really allow this person to show you that they can love you. All right. Let's get into your love messages and see what spirit has to say to my lovely Libras at this time. I hope all is well. All right. I noticed that I accidentally like skipped your reading before. And I actually went right into Scorpio. So um, maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio or um, maybe you have Scorpio placements. Maybe you're like a Libra Scorpio cusp. All right. So check out Scorpio's reading or um, check out Virgo's reading to see if any messages are in there for you. Okay. But we have solving an issue. So I see that you're trying to piece together some type of information to try to find a solution instead of finding the issue right so you're trying to like i'm seeing a couple here too so i see that you're both still in love so what i feel you're telling your partner if you are in a relationship for the libras who this resonates with i see you're telling your partner like it's us and then the problem like we're together we're a union we know how to complete karmic cycles we know how to muscle through issues and now it's time for us to put our minds together, put our thoughts together to always find the better solution than to focus on the issue. So this is beautiful energy. I feel like this is regarding um, some type of affair or somebody um, communicating some type of information to somebody on social media. So it could have been affairs or communication that had came through on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you whatever platform you guys are on but some information came in on facebook specifically a conversation um and i see that like you guys are getting closer because of this conversation you guys are like working through your problems okay yeah because there was definitely somebody juggling if they're not juggling like um meaning like cheating i mean obviously this definitely could mean that because we do have affairs and connections here so um you know, somebody could have been juggling amongst people or somebody could be juggling like a lot of responsibilities. Maybe this person is like super distracted, like they're, you know, trying to stay up to date with their lifestyle and what they need physically. And they're trying to stay up to date with their work and family and then their own like, you know, romantic situation so i definitely see that somebody's very busy okay and trying to like keep up with all these different tasks but um so we're gonna read more into this with the tarot see if there's any other messages romantically if not we're just gonna go with the energy that's presented okay so let's get into the nectar of the reading with the tarot see what spirit has to say to my lovely libras out there Whew. <laughs> that was a mouthful Whew. i'm hearing breathe breathe deep honey breathe deep I heard darling, breathe deep darling. I don't know, I don't even use that word. But... <laughs> I get the messages, all right? Don't kill the messenger. <laughs> all right. So I heard, um, get it shorty, get it shorty. So maybe somebody's listening to Lloyd right now. It's mad random. <laughs> 
but I see that there's some type of blockage in communication and this is really causing somebody to feel like they fumbled, like they dropped the ball here. But I feel like this is somebody that, um, I feel like this is somebody that you um, feel really compatible with. This is the lover's card here. So this could be a Gemini. Okay, so you feel like some type of communication came in. Um, some some information came in from a Gemini, all right? And it was something that was just kind of like, ugh, like that's a bummer or I feel like this person isn't, is fumbling this, okay? I'm also feeling like if it's not a Gemini communicating with you like physically, I see that there's some type of um, individual that you really feel mirrors you, that you really feel compatible with. They aren't communicating with you and it's making you feel like you aren't getting this victory. It's making you feel like you are blocked from feeling like you um, are succeeding in, um, in relaying it a message to them okay I don't know let me get some clarification okay wow so I see a lot of sleepless nights here yeah some type of cycle is not being closed so somebody's in their head yeah somebody's really in this in um somebody here is really indecisive they're in their head like but it's like while they're in their head, they're actually hurting themselves more. It's like they're hanging themselves. The more they think about it, they're hurting themselves. So I feel like if you're overthinking, it's time for you to just like stop overthinking because sometimes you can make a situation a lot worse by like putting these, um, putting too much energy into something that's not making you feel good. So I feel like if it's not something that's making you vibrate high, release it. Don't be all up in your head about it. Yeah, but I feel like there was some type of agreement, some type of document you were trying to solidify, some type of relationship you were trying to solidify, and or some type of agreement um, that had to be overseen by somebody, whether that's court or like um, something legal. It was like um, something was like sabotaged here, okay? It was like um, an agreement was made, but then somebody didn't follow through with their agreement. Like somebody presented some type of agreement to you and then they didn't go forward with it. All right. Yeah. This person is just like talking a bunch of lies or empty promises. So, yeah, I definitely see that there is somebody around you who does not truly know what direction they're going in. They don't know if they're going up, down or around. But whatever they're doing, they're really self-sabotaging themselves and they're hurting themselves. I really don't think that this is your energy. All right. Um, yeah. But I do see that through um, through all of this, like, miscommunication and um, you feeling kind of confused. I really feel like somebody's just honestly, genuinely confused. Like somebody communicated something like, Hey, I got this for you. I want to, I want to do this for you. I want to take you somewhere. Or I want to um, solidify a relationship. Or I want to solidify this business or whatever this is, you know, for you. Um, I definitely don't feel lovey energy here. I feel like more like business energy. Like somebody came in and was like, Hey, I want to do, um, I want to solidify something with you just as fast as that message came in. It was just as fast as that offer was taken off the table. Yeah. So I, I feel like you decided to, um, stay your course. Like maybe you're still dealing with this person, but it dosages. Yeah. But you feel like you just removed yourself, detached yourself from this situation. Aquarius energy is here, the star card. So I see that like you decided to drop the responsibility with this 10 of wands in reverse. Like you decided to drop this responsibility. If this is work, like you're like, look, this is not my job title. This is not what I signed up for. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing overtime. I'm not overworking myself. I'm not doing extra work and I'm not going to be reaping the reward. So because of this, you actually end up getting wish fulfillment. So this is beautiful energy. All right, let's get into your self-care cards and see what spirit has to say to you. All right, what's, what does my lovely Libras need to know? Get those self-care card messages out for you. 
We have connecting with crystals. So meditating with crystals can be very helpful for you. We have aromatherapy. So getting a new fragrance, um, a new cologne. All right. I'm also hearing like put some smell goods in your house. So light some incense, light some scented candles. That can be very helpful for you at this time. I'm hearing like citrus, um, citrus fruits or um, honey, I heard honeysuckle. I'm also seeing like mint could be something that helps you focus and lavender. All right. So yeah, connecting with crystals. This is your homework assignment. So, you know, do one of these things or all of these things to help you treat yourself with some extra TLC, right? We have positive affirmations. So talking love and life into yourself. I am beautiful. I am handsome. I am enough. I am brave. I am worthy. I'm grateful. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I love myself. I'm unconditional love. So talking love and life into yourself, pouring into your own cup. We have pleasure. So self-awareness of your body, connecting with your partner, connecting with your body um, could be helpful for you as well. And deep breathing. So always returning back to breath, breathing deep. <sighs> I don't know if you remember, but like earlier in the reading, I was like, whoo, that's a mouthful. I needed to take a breath, right? So take your time, take a deep breath. Life is what we breathe in every single time we take in a deep breath. So breathe in life, okay? And while you're exhaling, release whatever negative thoughts, whatever um, negative behavior patterns you have through your breath, okay? So let's get the signs that might be helpful for you. This can represent seasons. This can represent, um, again, signs that's within your natal chart or the person or people that you're going to cross paths with. So let it apply to you in the way that it does. We have Capricorn for ambitious and Cancer for imaginative. Okay. And that's very interesting because Cancer and Capricorn, they're the polar opposites from one another. So I'm hearing like check your North Node and your South Node placements. Maybe you're like a North Node Cancer and a South Node Capricorn or a North Node Capricorn and a South Node uh, <laughs> or a South Node Cancer. All right. So check out your North Node and your South Node placements. Let's get some letters or initials that might be helpful for you with the charms. All right. We have M, X, Z, and F, all right? I'm not sure. I heard Foxy. I heard Fox, all right? Fox energy. So again, like that deceptive energy. I'm hearing um, Z and M, so like Zoom. So you might have like a Zoom meeting. I'm also hearing like Fox as in like the TV channel, okay? So yeah, I hope that these messages were helpful for you. Sending you guys so much love. If you would like a more tailored to your lifestyle personal reading, all of the important details will be down below in the description box. I'm sending you guys so much love once again. I look forward to connecting with you. We are divinely connected. Until next time, peace.